Okay guys, so yeah, I got tagged by uh, Mascara Till Midnight, Michelle, to do the uh, use up your samples. Your samples, do a full face with samples. Samples, let's say samples. How many times can I say samples? So this is my final look, which is Friday, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> um, but if you'd like to see how I did it, just hang on and we'll show you. Let me know in comments below if you think this is a fun tag and if you think this would be fun to do. So here we go. Ignore my insane bangs. I don't know what's going on today. <sighs> Hopefully this works out. Okay, so here we go. And the first thing I'm gonna use is a primer. Estee Lauder Illuminating Primer. So I'm just gonna take the primer. The next thing I'm gonna use is uh, my sample of a Clarins in beige. Could be very dark on me, but maybe not, maybe it'll be okay. I'm gonna take my Joe Faco Beauty Blender, my AOA Beauty Blender, which I love. Be sure I don't have a concealer. I'm going to build the foundation. We hear people talk about buildable foundations, but honestly, most foundations are to some degree built. So all I'm going to do is with my finger, I'm going to put it on my finger, and I'm just going to tap it in. And I don't have an eyebrow powder but I have to do my eyebrows because I am a naked mole rat of a human being. So I have my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil and it's a, it's a bronzer, but it's fairly neutral. So I'm gonna try it as um, for my brows. So that's my brows done, just let me comb through them. Now normally I would put a, oh, oh actually I have it. Ha 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 ha. Hey, that sample of Gimme Brow from my um, Ipsy bag. Yay, because brows are important to me. Just a teeny tiny brush. All right, so that, that's that's my brows done. That wasn't too bad. So I have the Hourglass Ambient here. Okay, so this is the first brush I'm going to use. This is one of my e.l.f. brushes. It is a contour brush, and I'm going to use the darker of these two powders as my contour. I am very pale, so I might actually get away with it. I never understand how these paper ones work. It seems like it shouldn't, but let's see. Bronzer for me. Oh God, no. Dear YouTube, please don't make me buy something. I have a really hot forehead, so I put some color through here. If you need to decide if it's more than three fingers, you can definitely put some uh, contour up there. But if you have less than three fingers on your brow, please don't contour your brow because then you're going to make your head look even smaller. The idea with contouring is to push back some things and, and highlight brings forward other things, which is why JD talks about not using um, not using a dark, sorry, not using a light color in your, uh, under your eye. It's actually quite nice. I like that. 
I like that powder in general. That was my cover. My highlight, I'm going to use the diffused light. Another trick is to put it underneath and then blend up. done my foundation, I have done my contour and highlight, subtle but it's there, blush. What should we do next? Let's do our eye makeup and I have one of these teeny tiny palettes that you get when you, uh, Lancome does really nice gift with purchase, which I think makes this challenge because uh, it's supposed to be samples and that's basically what it is. It's a sample size. I have used this before, you can tell, because it's not perfect. But I am going to use this top one, my brow. Um, I'll probably use that one as a transition. There's a lot of glitter in this. It's a lot of shimmer. I don't normally do that much shimmer for a day look. What the hell? You don't have to, you can use whatever you want. I don't like to put too much underneath because then I end up looking like I have even worse bags under my eyes. So I'm also going to go in with this color and I'm just going to go along the line and up in the C here. A brush for this. Fluffy brush. So that's all blended out. So I'm gonna go back in. I am gonna go in to this dark color again and use it as an eyeliner. So I just got this wet with just plain old tap water. Uh, you don't need to buy anything to turn it into an eyeliner. You can use tap water. Roll up your sleeves to get your uh, liner on. Right up into the, um, push it right into the, the lashes. Because my lashes are blonde. Lancome always gives great little sample size things with um, with any of their purchases. So this is just one of their uh, one of their eyeliners. Does anybody remember when we used to take a lighter and light them so they were really soft? <laughs> no, just me. Very subtle wing. I think it's a subtle wing. Maybe it's crazy wing. Maybe you'd be like, oh my god, Noelle, that's a crazy wing. It's superhero mascara. I've wanted to try this, so let's try it. Let's 
See all my wrinkles? <laughs> and that would be my mascara done. Last thing I have to do, I got a sample of the Lee Swatier um, three different types of reds. The color I will use is this top one because the eyes are very dark. So the color I'm going to use is apparently called Caroline. Use my detailing brush. It's very red. Very dark lips. Very 19, uh, 1990s. That's the last. So there you go. That's my face with only samples. Uh, most cosmetics companies are, are pretty up on the giving out samples because it does what well, you saw. I mean, I'm doing the whole that I'm not going to buy anything in June. I'm going to keep saying this so that it reminds me so that I don't buy anything in June. I'm going to do an anti-haul for June. Um, the Hourglass. I really like that. So I, I probably will either buy that in July or maybe I can get it in this month. So there you go, Michelle. That's my, my look. And I will put all the directions in the bottom and I'll probably do something at the front end of this and the back end of this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I know this has been long and I'm going to scrunch it down a whole bunch, hopefully. Maybe take some stuff out. Definitely take some stuff out. And um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Huh? Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the bottom. I will tag some people, but basically, if you've watched it, you tagged, you tagged, go and do it. It's actually fun to see, um, use up some of your samples. Thanks. God damn it, Hourglass. Now I need to find you and buy you.